Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and I actually just finished braiding my hair, washing, condition, deep conditioning, and styling my hair. This is typically how I style my hair after I wash it. Um, it takes about, I don't know, maybe three to, yeah about three to five days, well not five, about three to four days for it to completely dry. And so typically I'll just keep it braided like this. I'll pin it down and then likely I'll wear a wig on top of it or I might just wear my hair in the braids like this. But this is what freshly washed and conditioned hair looks like on me. And um, because I just finished up two of my uh, products that I was using to style my hair, I thought it would be a, a great time for me to show you all some of my natural hair uh, empties. So and let me hop right on in. Um, I guess I'll do it in the order in which I probably would use it to style my hair. Um, the first thing that I have here is a shampoo. Um, I'll be honest though, this one is a um, cheat item because I actually ended up just using this as a hand soap because it didn't really do too well on my hair as a shampoo. So um, I did finish up one of these though. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It is the Shea Solutions uh, Shea Butter Deep Moisture Shampoo. It says it's supposed to clean, moisturize, and strengthen and that it's paraben free. Um, I personally did not care for this item as a shampoo. It dried my hair out and tangled it up really, really bad. So I probably would not repurchase it again, but um, I did finish it. And the only way I finished it was by using it as a hand soap. So I got through this um, and then I just finished up um, a, a Tresemme uh, Botanic Curl Hydration uh, Conditioner. Uh, and this is what the bottle looks like. I do like this. Um, I use this two different ways. Um, I used it one to detangle my hair. So on dry hair, I would just squeeze a lot of it into my hand, coat my hair really good and just kind of detangle it. And then I also use it to uh, condition my hair when I'm washing it. I've used it for just like a condition where I put the, I'll, shampoo, I'll put shampoo in my hair and then I'll put conditioner on it, this, I'll rinse it out and then sometimes excuse me and then sometimes I would also use this as a deep conditioner where I would coat my hair go under a bag for like um, 35 no I always do 45 minutes but I'll do this where I'll coat my hair and wait about 45 minutes underneath the bag and then um, rinse it out and so that's how I use it as a deep conditioner this lasted me maybe I would say three uses um, and this is 25 fluid ounces. I'm not gonna lie, I got a head full of hair so it takes um, a lot of product for me to uh, thoroughly be able to coat my hair and things like that. So a lot of my products don't really last that long. Um, next item I used up was um, this Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. Absolutely love this product. This is the one product that I have found amongst everything that I've tried and used that works for my hair. It, it gives me good curl definition. It leaves my hair feeling very hydrated um, and my curls be popping. So if you all have not tried this, um, definitely check it out. I did do a review of this item. Well, actually not this item in particular, the sister product, which is the Cantu Grow Strong Strengthening Treatment. Um, to me, they work the exact same in my hair. So um, I would highly recommend this one and that other product, but I'll leave a link to the other review I did um, down below in the comment section, well, down below in the description box. So yeah, if y'all haven't tried this, definitely need to. And one thing I learned with this product too, so it is 16 fluid ounces, so it's a lot bigger than the other one. So that's one of the reasons I liked it more. Um, and then two, it actually lasted me a long time. A little of this product does go a long way. I think this lasted me like six or seven stylings or whatever, which might not sound like a lot to most folks, but I mean, typically uh, one product will last me like one washing or one styling session so yeah this lasted me a long time i highly recommend it definitely like this product a lot and it smells so 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 good and as you can see i scraped it all the way clean um and i do have backups of this so i'll be excited to whip those out um next i used uh this uh carrot and aloe oil um it's from the brand mega care uh i normally use it just to kind of seal in my ends or whatever. Um, so I used this, this up. I used this up a few months ago, but I'm just now featuring it. So yeah, this was a decent enough product. I mean, it had a nice smell to it. Um, nothing too special about it. Um, I think I would like to stick more so with my extra version olive oil, Jamaican black castor oil, 
um, concoction that I normally use. I find that that works great for me. So um, don't know that I'd repurchase this. The only reason I would repurchase this is maybe if I wanted an oil that I could travel with because it is 1.5 fluid ounces. That is probably the only other benefit to it. Otherwise, it wasn't anything special to me. But um, yeah, I enjoy the smell of it at least. Um, so those are pretty much all the products I emptied completely out. Um, these two are honorable mentions. I mean, I guess technically I can consider this an empty. It's the Africa's Best Super Grow Hair and Scalp Conditioner. I don't even know if I featured this in my last empties or not, but I've been working on this forever. I don't use grease as much anymore. It smells so good. It smells like... I don't know maybe like uh, coconut oil maybe it smells so good it smells like coconut oil but it's Af Africa's best super grow hair and scalp conditioner I mainly use this when I have braids in my hair and my scalp is really itchy as you can see it's pretty much nothing left in here but I do still scrape out what's left in there and use it there's some on the lid as well I oil my scalp with it probably it lasts me one more good use so I wanted to feature it in this video and then the other item is kind of the sister product to the uh, deep moisture shampoo and it is the leave-in conditioner from Shea Solutions. I featured this in my last empties video. Um, I don't like this product at all on wet hair. Again, just this product in general, um, this line from Dollar Tree, it just leaves my hair dry and tired and like it's going to fall apart. So. I mainly uh, use this for on uh, dry hair um, that needs to be um, detangled slightly like if I'm so say if I take my braids down I'm not really going to style my hair in like a, a style that's going to last a while but I do need to put some moisture on my hair this is typically what I'll use and I noticed that when it's used on dry hair it works a little bit better but not something I really recommend to people uh, once I'm done with this line I'll be happy to just kind of get it out my collection and never see it again um, but yeah I have about let me see yeah about this much of it left in there so maybe one more use of when my hair is dry and stretched out I'll use it up and then just kind of get rid of it because not a big fan of it however I do enjoy the smell it does smell nice so yeah these are all of my empties for my natural hair products um i hope you all enjoyed this video um comment down below sorry if you all see white residue um i do have to load my product on um thickly uh so that my hair can suck up all the moisture that it has um because my hair is very very naturally dry but yeah um let me know down in the comments below if you all would be interested in seeing a video of how I wash and style my hair. Um, I was thought about doing the video, but then I was like, I don't even know if you all care to see that on my channel. So if you all, I mean, because there's like a million of those videos out there. So if you all are interested in seeing a video like that, comment down below and I'd be happy to shoot it for you. But this is what my finished product always looks like. This is what I found to be my go-to after I wash my hair and then it dries and sets and then I can do a braid out, do some updos, do some buns, um, do a fro, and then kind of repeat that cycle. That's what I found to work best for my hair. So yeah, um, I don't know. This is like a not even a whole length check, but a low key length check right there. Obviously it's braided so you won't get the full length of it. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do apologize if I sound a little different. I am slightly under the weather. I've been trying to feel better. I was not going to film at all this weekend, but I was like, I want to uh, give you all more footage. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.